So the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth soundtrack has officially made its way into the wild and the physical packaging is kind of giving people some teases as to what the third game could potentially be called, as well as some possible story implications in regards to Cloud. So this information comes to us from Audrey who got her hands on the physical edition of the soundtrack early and it's a really beautiful set and I think it's actually kind of similar to the remake box set. So if you look at the front, it has Cloud's Buster Sword with what looks to be red summoning materia. That's what it Kind of looks like to me at first glance and then you open up the box and it has like this red mist but it's all shrouded in darkness which has led some people to think that maybe this is supposed to be the black materia and they just kind of overdid it with the red coloring on the little jewel decoration that comes on the box because remake had a very similar box and the materia that was in that slot was a green materia so it could just be them picking different materia colors to kind of add some difference and in individuality to the box sets but if you look at the professional image of this box set the materia definitely has a black tinge to it in the upper left hand corner so it could potentially represent the black materia let's assume that it is the black materia because <laughs> the black materia while it is black it does have some red within its core to kind of i think symbolize like the evilness and the hatred of that materia itself that could potentially be a tease for what's going to happen in part three with Cloud because we know, spoiler alert for those who may not have finished Rebirth, uh, by the end of that game, Cloud somehow got his hands on the Black Materia and he's going full Lord of the Rings Gollum with it. He doesn't want anyone to have it. It's his precious. He doesn't want anyone to even know that he has it. So he hides it within the Buster Sword and that is clearly going to have an effect on him because we've seen that Sephiroth and Genova, even the Black Materia itself are having an effect on Cloud and potentially manipulating him. And I bring this up because there are some people uh, kind of speculating on some of the changes we could see with Cloud in terms of his combat in part three, now that he has the Black Materia. And the developers themselves have shown that they love to take story elements and incorporate them into the gameplay. We see that all over the place in Rebirth with the relationships with the characters and the bonding. It's not just cutscene stuff, it's the conversations you have in side quests, it's the dialogue trees, it's the synergy skills and abilities. That big aspect of the story has been ingrained into the gameplay, so it's not out of the realm of possibility to also change Cloud's gameplay and make him a little bit more violent and dark because in part three, he is going to be more unhinged and unreliable. So changing up his combat to be more aggressive, to do maybe bigger, heavier, damaging attacks instead of what he's been in Remake and Rebirth could potentially happen because we know, again, the developers like to do that stuff. And it wouldn't be kind of out of nowhere. Uh, starting in Remake, if you held down the square button during the Punisher mode, which again, the fact that Cloud even has a mode called Punisher <laughs> is a little bit of a red flag, but he would stab his sword into the ground and give himself this Berserker boost. And in Rebirth, he does get the Umbral Blade, I believe is what it's called. I think it's just a relabeled Force Stealer from the original game, but that gives Cloud Prime Mode, which doesn't just give him two day shipping. He can do these really powerful strikes that if I remember correctly, have this red and black energy to them. I don't quite remember if I'm remembering that correctly because I didn't use Prime Mode all that often, but again, it's kind of like building layers to the aggressiveness to Cloud's combat. So I wouldn't be shocked if in part three, he does become more brutal, more violent. We've seen flashes of that in Rebirth where Sephiroth gets his hands on Cloud and just makes him do these really crazy, brutal and violent acts where he's tossing people in the air and slicing them in the stomach or stabbing them in the gut or attempting to murder Tifa. So it totally is still in character with the story that they're trying to tell with Cloud at the moment. So that could be cool. Again, we could just be blowing this out of proportion. It could just be a red summoning materia that they put in there to just, again, kind of add some more color schemes to the materia. And then maybe part three ends up having, you know, a blue materia or a yellow materia or a purple materia or even the white materia. So we don't know for sure. We're just kind of speculating on things as we see them. But again, the developers really, they do seem to put a lot of thought and effort into everything that goes into into these games. And uh, if I've learned anything from playing Remake and Rebirth, it's that they don't do things just to do things. Seemingly everything they do has a purpose from how music is composed and incorporated into the game, the gameplay stuff, how certain scenes are shot, uh, certain musical cues, even down to how they name their enemies. That can be massive clues to, you know, the storytelling and what's going to happen in the next game. And there's one really interesting tidbit that I missed out on the first time that some people point 
pointed out that in the final battle with Genova after the death of Aerith, heading into that fight, everyone but Cloud has a maximum limit break. Everyone is pissed off, they're upset, they're mourning, they're at max level for their limit, except for Cloud. So again, <laughs> as I echo myself from the earlier in the video, the developers like to take story stuff and hide them within the gameplay. And I think that is super sick. Now, getting onto what the third game in this trilogy could potentially be called. Looking at the track list, the final track on this record is called Aerith's Theme, Return to the Planet, which is leading people to speculate that part three will be called Final Fantasy VII Return, which does make sense. It fits within the, you know, two syllable words they've been using so far with remake and rebirth. It could also have story implication on what's going to happen within the story of part three, because that's what they've been doing so far. And they've all kind of been referencing Sephiroth and things that Sephiroth has been doing. Uh, in part one, you know, Sephiroth is literally remaking the timeline, changing things, showing up in spots where he doesn't normally show up. Rebirth is Sephiroth literally literally being reborn. You fight a version of Sephiroth called Sephiroth Reborn. And his whole goal within that game is to, you know, combine all of these different worlds and converge them into one point and essentially feed off of the negativity and the doom and gloom to power himself up to again, keywords here, be rebirthed or reborn into this even bigger, more powerful entity. So if they were to name it Return, it doesn't necessarily just speak to Sephiroth like Remake and Rebirth does. It speaks to a number of things that would be happening in the game. Literally the return of Sephiroth because we know his body is in the Northern Crater. And once he gets his hands on the Black Materia, that's when the real Sephiroth will finally show up. It could be referencing Aerith and literally returning to the planet or even returning from the planet to find a way to help the party beat Sephiroth this time around. It could be referencing the return to Midgar where you go back to Midgar and some pretty big things go down within the story, especially with Hojo. It could be Zack, <laughs> you know, finishing his deed and returning to the planet, which is what was supposed to happen to him. It could be referencing Cloud who, you know, is gonna go through a massive metamorphosis in part three after he breaks down again and Tifa has to help him put things back together. It's the return of Cloud, the real Cloud. It could even be a reference to returning the planet back to what it was before Genova and Sephiroth infected it and essentially started to use a word that Sephiroth used, girdle the planet. And again, I'm just kind of reaching here based on you know what I know about the story, but Return does make a lot of sense. Again, it fits that naming scheme. It makes sense for the story and it is the last track on the record. And if I remember correctly, Final Fantasy VII Remake's final track on that record was Sephiroth's track, one Wing Angel Rebirth, which led to part two being called Rebirth, which now leads people to think, oh, part three is probably gonna be called Return. Now it is worth noting that Sephiroth's track on this record is called One Winged Angel Reborn. So some people are going with Reborn being the title for the third game, but after using Rebirth, that feels a little bit redundant to use because it's like, well, Sephiroth technically was already reborn in part two. So maybe that doesn't make any sense. Another prime candidate would have been Reunion. However, they already used that for Crisis Core, and I don't know if they would want to repeat themselves or make things a bit too confusing because now you have two Final Fantasy VII games on the market that all have the subtitle of Reunion. And technically to a degree, a reunion of sorts already did happen in Rebirth with, you know, Cloud and Zack reuniting to fight Sephiroth. It could also be a reference to Sephiroth, you know, like uniting or reuniting all of these different timelines and again, beating off that bad energy. So there's a lot out there that could give credibility to Reunion being the title or Reborn being the title. But if we look at this track list and just take it at face value, Return probably makes the most sense. So we're looking at Final Fantasy VII, Return, potentially being the title for part three. But with that being said, that is the video. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys first off think about this whole material that shows up on this box? Do you think it really just is the red summoning material? Are people maybe looking too far into it thinking it's supposed to be the black material? Do you think that they will change Cloud's moveset in part three to kind of match the story stuff of where Cloud is going? And what do you guys think part three will be called? Do you think Return is a lock or are you more leaning towards something like Reunion or Reborn? I will see you guys in the next video, please remember to always be excellent to one another.